Welcome to ReadTheTicket.com. Today I'm going to introduce a new indicator called RTT Wyckoff Strength and Weakness Indicator. The indicator I'm referring to is the band you see down here, green, light red, dark red, sort of medium green, a different type of green there. What this indicator do, does, sorry, it simply measures the wave move. For example, here we've got a, a move in price action based on a weekly chart. Uh, it requires weekly data. Which shows here we have a move down. And sometime during this move down, we had a new 50-week low. So the um, the move down will start like a, um, a light red, because you don't know when the move starts, if it's going to reach a 52-week low. So as the move goes down, it, it would reach a 26-week low, so that would be a, a, a mild red. But once it reaches a 52-week low, it will be a red. Now if it gets, continues on down to a 4-year low, or a 208-week low, this would be dark red. So what we see here, for example, prior to the red uh, bar, you see that the Apple was in a strong uptrend where four-year highs or 208-week highs were hit uh, continuously in the upswing. So it's a very powerful chart. Now, simply to determine whether it's a 52-week, 26-week, or a 208-week high, the... Um, Dockian channels are used. Now that's a pretty simple measure. There's a bit of secret squirrel code to work out the, the, the beginning and the end of the start of the swing. We'll just keep that to um, the site for priority indicators. But as you can see, we try to explain how the calculation is made. And if you wonder why, for example, here at this point in time, that would have been considered a, um, I think it's a 52 week, uh, 26 month high. Yeah, so first high in six months. And here we get a high, so this high here would have turned this color green because it made a 52 week high, what have you. And I think here, this point here, where the blue line is, the, the red, that would have been a 52 week low. And around here would have been a um, 26 week low. It just gives you an idea when you're comparing, say, 10 or 15 charts, which charts are making four year highs, one year highs six month highs. Now that's that's interesting but it's um, not as good as when you join the, uh, a couple of indicators together. If I just turn off the, um, the detail and just go to the band. Now we call it the Wyckoff Strength Weakness Indicator because it assists the determination of sign of weakness and sign of strength. When I say it assists, it does not code out exactly where a sign of strength and sign of weakness uh, is because the Wyckoff sign of strength and sign of weakness requires a move from a base or a cause rather than just being randomly positioned on a chart. For example here, this broke out of a um, horizontal pattern there. So that definitely was a sign of weakness. Here we have a horizontal pen. The red lines are, sorry. Try again. And we have this um, up move here for six month high. That definitely was a sign, a couple of signs of strength. There's a sign of strength up here, a test, and another sign of strength. And obviously, when you have uh, lots of green and you have a light red, if you're a swing trader, you want to see that because you're interested in strong up moves with a pause and take off again. For example, here. We have a um, strong up move making a four year high. A moment part of light weakness where there's no 26, month, 26 week low, sorry. Just a mild low. And then we continue on our strength there. So obviously uh, swing traders look for strength, then mild weakness, strength, mild weakness, strength, mild weakness. And on the downside it's very weak, you know, strong weakness and mild strength. So that's just the swing, trade, swing traders. Now, the we'll, reason why we call it a Wyckoff because um, it assists in the Wyckoff process. But if, for example, here we have a, uh, a, a swing down that ended in a 52 week low. But as you can see, our RTT Trend Power OBV, which is a price oscillator with volume. So it's a, sorry, I'll say that again. It's a price volume oscillator. So the sharp move down here shows how 
incredibly large volume was involved in the move down, as you can see here. So that tells you uh, during that um, moment of weakness, it was very much a, a strong move down. Here we have a um, sign of strength, but as you can sort of see, the move, the move was higher. The volume wasn't that great, as you can see here, where, where my cursor is. Put my cursor like that, as you can see, the, you know, the volume is not that great. Then we go into a pause phase, and as you can see, it really does pick up here a bit. Um, volume picks up there. As I, as I think Apple announces its buyback. But it's not, you know, super strong like this particular move here. It's all relative. Volume very strong up there. As you can see, this move, this rally up here in this green zone here was not as strong as this move. Once again, that's what they call shortening of the thrust. And that was, as you can see, it broke the uh, horizontal here. Fell back in. Which uh, obviously is a, a weakness. So when you, get, when you identify a price move... You identify whether it's making a 26-week, 52-week, or 208-week high or low. The volume behind the move gives you an idea how good the strength or weakness is. Yeah, we obviously we have another indicator called RTT OBV, which is basically it measures the punch. It's like in boxing. If you're, um, you're boxing your opponent and you do a jab, well, this indicator here is not going to charge up that high when you do a jab. But when you do a, uh, a right hook or something and get connection, it's going to charge up a lot higher. Because what it does, it determines the punch on the end of a, um, a bar. For example, if a bar is wide ranging and ends with a high close, the volume behind it is pretty solid. Well, this is the punch in the up move and the punch in the down move. For example, here we had a lot of punch in the down move. Quite simply, we had a lot of red closes on the low and rising in volume. So that was measuring the punch -o meter of the price down, let's call it that. So when I was uh, looking at the bounce here, it was a bounce off support in this range here. I was very nervous about going long because I saw that the punch -o meter or RTT OPV was very strong in the downside and the counterbalance wasn't strong enough to offset it. So and ideally you would have gone, gone short there. And as you can sort of see here, when I say uh, here we've had a strong up move price-wise, but the volume under, underneath it is quite light. So the punch meter is not really, I'm calling it punch meter now, I'm getting, getting used to it. But the RTT OBV is measuring, measuring the punch and the, the price action. It's not that great. Like I said before, the RTT trend power OBV is more of a price volume oscillator, and the RTT OBV is uh, measuring the punch or action into the high closes and low closes of, of the um, price move. So like I said before, the RTT Wyckoff Strength Weakness Indicator just adds a bit of um, a bit more story to the formula. It assists the Wyckoff determination of weakness and strength, especially the sign of weakness and sign of strength, to see whether it's breaking out. And obviously if you're a swing trader, you want to see, you want to see good strength, Mild weakness, good strength to take advantage of the weaknesses. And also, um, because this uh, indicates a great tool for that sort of thing in our swing scanner, we have carried it over this statistic per stock. So you can, here's our Wyckoff strength and weakness indicator showing, well, for example, here's DuPont, DD, strength, mild weakness, strength, and a period of mild weakness. So if you're a swing scanner, you automatically identify the ones you want to look at. Obviously, the swing scanner, you can select any uh, permutation or your own groups. This is the Dow Jones. Uh, let's... Not be too many. Oh, yeah, here's a few here. These are the stocks at the moment that are currently on the... Um, showing a 208 or 4-year high. The white has a little bit of a pause, so they're the strongest stocks in the Dow Jones at the moment. And I don't think there's too many weak ones, but let's have a look. Nah. Oh, Utex. Where are they? Oh, United Technologies. So that's, you know, if you're a swing trader, that's pretty much a 
First choice indicator to check it out to start looking for strength, then mild weakness. Thanks very much for watching.